Does everyone remember this list? Where I pre-graded myself to see how well I test against NGC graders. Well, I got that submission back. Okay, but before, before you do this, go down into the description, down into the comment section, and watch this video first. You have to watch this video first. You got, if you haven't watched part one, watch part one. So here, so let's open this up, and it's sealed. Okay, look, I've not opened it. I might, I'm probably, it's kind of boring sitting here cutting open a box, but, you know, I want to get it open for everybody. But I will say, I never, you know, I never opened it before I did this video. I swear, I promise you, this came in Friday. I had the coin show yesterday. Um, by the way, it was great seeing everybody at the coin show. Milton, West Virginia. The next one's coming up, I think, in July. Check it out. You got to come to the show. It's really good. But anyway... I didn't have time now there it is it's sunday morning this is i'm recording this live but i will edit a, a little bit because i don't there's going to be some fluff and my mistakes i don't nobody needs to see all my mistakes you want to see my mistakes when i'm talking come to the coin show <laughs> and meet and greet so anyways i've cut this open get these coins out of here <clears throat> and what i did i realized when i started doing the ngc submission that there was a 1904 that I put down 63 and I meant to put 65. I just, it was a typo in my head. I don't know why I did that. Um, you'll see what grade that got. Um, then I added a couple extras just at the end. I'll show you just some extra coins that I didn't put on the list, but I ended up buying them or finding them somewhere that I needed to send off that I realized I needed to send off. So let's get this box out of here. NGC is doing a pretty good job of packing coins up. There's this. Let's see. Now I received a bunch of submissions from back. All of my submissions from NGC came back. And this is, okay, this is one of the extra ones that I didn't put in the video. So that doesn't count towards my grading uh, score here. You guys can score me. I'm not scoring myself. <laughs> it is what it is. So I want to make sure I've got all these coins. The only ones that I sent off or actually put on this list. I want to make sure that's the ones I've got. Okay, here we go. First on the list, I had a 78S, and I felt that it would grade Mint State 64 Proof Life. It's right here on my list. Unordered, unchanged. You can check out this. <laughs> it's kind of hard to prove it. I didn't date it, but it's it's. I put video grade list on top after I did the video. So here it is. Here's what I got on that 78S that I thought was Mint State 64 Proof Life. Ta-da! <laughs> Well, I got Mint State 64, but I did not get my proof like designation on the coin. And probably the reason I didn't is that they just didn't do it. I don't know why they didn't do that. But anyway, that's what I got on that one. Then I had a 78 CC that I said Mint State 63. So here is my 78 CC. <laughs> I'm hiding the grade on huh? here it is and I got a 63 on a 78 cc very very nice coin yes this is a really nice coin here there's that okay then I had a 79 s is on the list here and I had it down as a mint state 65 on the list and here's what I got I got a 64 on this coin, and I just don't understand, uh, to me, it's a 65, but hey, you know, <laughs> that's how NGC rolled this time. I usually do pretty good with NGC on it. I don't know whether they're a little more conservative on me or not. Looks like they did on this one. Then, I had an 81cc, and I, I thought it was Mint State 62, and they ended up giving me a Mint State 63. Look at that. Very nice coin. So I got a little better on that one. So I was happy about that. You take the good with the bad. And we're splitting hairs here because these are one point grades. I could send these back in and get different grades. That's just the way this business is. I'm, I'm telling you. I, I mean, I know for a fact I could. So then I had an 1884 that I thought was Mint State 65. I still think it's Mint State 65 or I wouldn't have sent it off. You know, I would only send off coins that were 64 or less if it was a bulk submission. Cause it's just silly but you know like i said it's a nice coin you can see some of the marks when you hold it out of the light but there's the grade the 
improve. And then here's the reverse. Yeah, it's just, um, I just think that I still think it is, you know. Then I had this 89S. Now, I knew that it was unk details for sure. I was concerned. And the grade that I put down, I put Met State 63 potentially cleaned on the uh, 89S. And I ended up getting a surprise. I got a Mint State 63. And like I said, this coin, if I was at a, uh, you had it raw, you know, you're trying to sell it. I mean, it looks more original now to me than it did because it's in this holder, I guess. I don't know, but it, it is a nice coin. I was just concerned a little bit because it seemed like it was lacking some of the frost that I like to see. And that's just my conservatism. I, you know, I am pretty conservative sometimes when it comes to this. But overall, I mean, that's a nice coin. That's a good coin to get for that. And my biggest surprise, I had a 95S AU details. And and they gave this grade, AU55. Problem-free coin here. I know it has marks on the cheek and all, but boy, it is a nice coin. But that's pretty cool. I would have just bet that that coin would not have came back problem-free. But, you know, they looked at it, I suppose, and felt like that a lot of that was just reading marks from other coins. And I can kind of see that now, but, you know, it's a good little haul to get that. And now we have a 98 -0. And this one, I thought I was being a little conservative on, which I ended up being. And uh, I got a Mint State 64 on it. That is what I put down on the list here. We can take a look. And actually, I had a, a 98.0 Mint State 64. And I ended up getting a 98.0 with a Mint State 64. So I was on that one as well. It's a pretty nice coin, and it could have went either way, in my opinion. I don't know. 60. Some of these, I think, could have at least 64+. plus. That I thought were 65s. But that's how it rolls. That's how you do, man. When you play this game, I mean, I can tell you all day long, you can bring coins to me. You could pay me $1,000 a coin and say, could you tell me to send these off for grading? I just want your opinion. It's just a waste of time. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you send it off. You just send it off. That's all you can do. Uh, then I had a 19040. And this one I thought was going to grade 62. Proof like I believe. I think that's what I have down here. Yeah, 62 proof like right here on the list. And I don't know. I think this was a mistake. I think this is the one that I made the mistake on. I don't I don't know why I put down uh, Mint State or Proof Like because it's not proof like as much as the other 78S that I had up there. So 040 Mint State 64 though. So I got a 64 out of this instead of a 62. I just thought that it had more marks and ticks in the fields than it needed to have. Because you can see some stuff on the, the reverse too as well. It's just not, like I said, if I can show it to you a little bit better there. Yeah. I just felt it was a little too marked up for anything above 62. But I think the typo was on the pre PL on that one. I, I don't know why I did that. I. And then this one here. <laughs> This is the head scratcher. And like I said, every single submission you get a head scratcher, you're just something you overlook, something you didn't see. I had a 1925 piece dollar and I thought that it should grade 65. Very nice coin. And I've looked at it since because I did not get that. I mean, I literally received an unk details grade. We're going to look at this one a lot closer. But you see it says unk details. I'm going to look at that coin and... I kind of scan the light over it, get it close at the angle here. I don't see, and I didn't see a naked eye, I still don't see where the coin is cleaned. I would have sold this coin all day long as uncleaned. I, I, I mean, I would sell rolls of these. I would never even have thought, you know, that it was cleaned. I, I don't see it. Um... You know, maybe they thought saw the stains. There are stains on the coin. I, I, but I mean, that's typical. I mean, you see that. My goodness, I see coins graded 65 that look like they're they're almost circulated because they're so dark. But anyways, there's the grade reveal. There's how I did. So I messed up on the 25. I didn't get uh, any of my 65s. So my 89s got six received 63 which was good i didn't get au details on the 95s so that's good that makes up for any errors that i made but i got some 64s that i think should still be 65s bottom line i got two or three of them here and, and this should not be um, details i will argue with you ngc i will argue with you all day long about that 25 being um, details
It does not have clean lines on it. It is not missing luster of any way, artificial, shape, or form. You're wrong. So, I have three coins here that I did not put on my list that I want to share with you because they're nice coins, and that's why I sent them off. The first one is this one here, and I've never received this. This is funny. This is a 79S, obviously. And I received Mint State 62 on the coin, which doesn't surprise me, but I got a star. And I just wanted to send it off. I thought it was cool. It looked better in a holder. Just give me another coin to send off. I found it, and I thought, now nah, let's just try it. Let's just see. Because a lot of people will bring coins in like this, and they're like, man, that's dimple. That's proof-like. And I turn it over, and I say, well, look, the reverse, no, it's not. So sometimes I keep stuff like that as an example. I just think the reverse is kind of ugly. The obverse is nice. Then I did get a 65 on this, and I can compare this 65, this 1904 65 to all the rest of them, and I'm here to tell you there's no difference. When I send in a coin for a 65, it should grade 65. I know I'm not saying I'm the, the best grader in the world, but these guys, you know, they're hired in. They're, they Some of them don't even have as much experience as I do. Some of them do. You know, I get that. I'm not saying I can outgrade every one of them. I'm not, there's not about outgrading. That's not even the point. It's, <laughs> it isn't even that. I'm not trying to outgrade anyone. I don't mean it like that. And then I've got this one. This is, I love this. This is a 79S reverse of 78. And it's a Van 9 Top 100. Now, I got 62 out of it, which is fine. I mean, I you could say that it's... Some coins could be 63 looking like this one. You know, but it's got a lot of marks on it. But it just seems real nice. I, you'd think 63 would have been a little better of a grade. But, you know, and it's a pretty valuable coin. This is the Concave 78 Reverse. That's how you know that's the 78 Reverse. It has the Concave Press Feathers there. And the 79s, you know, that's just a die pair that they, um, when they had some leftover 78S dies, and they struck it with a 79 obverse die. So that's really cool. Then I actually sent off a GSA to go along with it, and that was the one that was in the box by itself separate. It was an 1883cc, and it was VAM4, 1883 over 1883. And these are good studies uh, as far as VAMs are concerned and your double dies and all of that. Um, it's kind of hard to see. I try to get up as close as I can, but it's a nice uh, coin. They graded it, like I said, Mint State 62, but I got the VAM on the holder. It's not going to bring a lot more value, but nonetheless, it's kind of a cool coin, and I've got some 62s I can compare and, you know, just add it to my repertoire of uh, grading and my experiences, you know, so that I'm better at what I do. I typically don't want to send off uh, Mint State 62, but it does have somewhat of a semi-proof-like appearance as well, and that's another thing that kind of adds to it. I wasn't expecting to get a proof-like at all, but, you know, I've been surprised. The obverse is just not enough. The reverse is nice, but someone's going to like that coin. They're going to want that coin. So, there's all the coins. There's my reveal. I'll have to edit some of this, obviously. You'll see that, but honest, I, I did not switch any coins to make it look like I did better or worse. <laughs> Let me be honest here. So you see how I did? You can compare my list. You can make your list and write it down. So what I did was is next to the grade here, I'm going to, I'll show you. So I wrote down next to each one of these. So you got a record of this. You can compare and see how I did. I'm telling you, you know, there was uh, three of them in there that should have been 65. And that 60, that 78S should have been a proof like. And I mean, I'm just... You, you can see what my results were and how difficult it is, even as an experienced coin dealer, an experienced coin grader. I mean, I see coins all the time, uh, how hard it is. And I'm going to show you 78S one more time. And we're going to look at it a little bit closer just before I end this video. I know it's a little long, but guys, I mean, this is important stuff. I mean, you learn about grading. It's, this grading bit is just off. It, it needs to be fixed. So here it is. This is the 78S that they determined was not proof like at all you know and i know that it doesn't look like it's got a lot of reflection in the obverse but it does i mean it it has just as much as any proof like i've purchased i've sold them you know and the reverse is just it's dimple i mean you can see the watery dimpleness i, I know i call it watery it's a reflection in the fields it almost looks like water to me and you know i can 
you know, I can hold this coin and I can put it over and I can see letters in it and it's not the holder, right? I already did it before I even put it in there. I mean, I, I wanted, like I said, it doesn't have to be. It's not going to kill me because it's not, but I just think it's unfortunate that, you know, I've got like a couple of upgrades. There are a couple of grades that are a little better than what I thought, which even, it does even it out. And that's just how it works when you do this. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Thanks for being patient with me and uh, hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to watch the part one first. I mean, I, I wish, I hope you all watched part one first and have a great day.